are escalating following North Korea's sixth and most powerful nuclear test. The rogue nation claims it tested a hydrogen bomb capable of causing mass destruction on the U.S. mainland. The Trump administration is responding with tough talk while U.S. allies are urging diplomatic measures. The U.N. Secretary Council is holding an emergency meeting to talk about the crisis. CBS 4's Mola Lenghi is in Washington with more. South Korea launched ballistic missiles and scrambled fighter jets in a show of force following North Korea's largest ever nuclear test. The North claims it tested a hydrogen bomb and declared its mission a perfect success. It is a not only a much more powerful weapon, but it might also have been something that is more miniaturized. In theory, uh, at least be able to fit on the warhead of a long-range missile. Sunday's blast at North Korea's main nuclear test site created a man-made earthquake felt in China and Russia. Scientists believe it was potentially 10 times more powerful than North Korea's last nuclear test and at least five times the explosive power of the bombs the United States dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki at the end of World War II. The Trump administration is again warning North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to stop his country's nuclear program or face serious consequences. Any threat to the United States or our allies will be met with a massive military response. Enough is enough. At today's emergency meeting of the UN Security Council, UN Ambassador Nikki Haley argued for the toughest sanctions possible. War is never something the United States wants. We don't want it now. But our country's patience is not unlimited. President Trump has already threatened to stop trading with any country that does business with North Korea. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Washington. And Senator Marco Rubio released a statement on North Korea's latest nuclear test, calling it a, quote, sober reminder that countries must stop Pyongyang's growing nuclear and missile programs. He said, quote, we cannot live in a world held hostage by Kim Jong-un's nuclear blackmail, and I support U.S.-led international efforts to maximize pressure against the North Korean regime and its foreign enablers. Developing right now,